Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Well, as I promised last week, something completely unrelated to the Apple Watch this week. I last covered paper by 53 back in July 2012, and although the app looks pretty much the same, the developers have added some striking new features, they now include all the drawing tools for free, and they've added a web service for mixing and sharing images, as well as launching Pencil, a bespoke stylus built to use with paper. So with all of those changes in mind, let's take a look at the current release of Paper by 53. So across over on the App Store, uh, I've already done a search for Paper by 53, and you will need to do a search for Paper by 53. There are lots and lots of applications with the name Paper in the title. In fact, I think Facebook have actually commandeered the name Paper for one of their applications. But the thing that drew my attention to it this time around is that there is a ton of new functionality in the application, including the ability now to uh, draw uh, diagrams, not just freehand. There are some new tools in there that allow you to draw, as you can see from here, uh, circles and rectangles and triangles, etc. Uh, there's a new stylus called Pencil, which is interesting. Now, you don't need the stylus to access all the features of paper, although there is one feature, uh, a blend feature, that you do need to use the pencil with. But you can get by perfectly well without the stylus. And there's this, this new mix feature whereby you can go onto the web and uh, pull down uh, images that people have created and use them, uh, but also create your own and share them as well. But let's go ahead and install this for the first time and I'll take you through. Uh, well, we'll do a recap of some of the existing features and then we'll take a look at the new features. So we'll give this a second to install. Okay, and let's open this for the first time on this machine. Now we'll get the splash screen. Uh, this is all about the uh, the new ThinkKit tool set, bringing diagramming, charting, and wireframing to it, and also access to Mix. You can actually back up your uh, documents as well, your notebooks, to the Mix service, but we'll uh, sign in. We'll sign up for that perhaps maybe later. Now, if you're already familiar with the application, you have this uh, concept of notebooks. Uh, they give you three notebooks to begin with. You can add your own notebooks in. Uh, all the tools now, though, all the drawing tools are free. You'll see there is a shop icon in the top, but that allows you to go to the shop to buy pencil, which is about, I think it's about £50. Uh, I actually have bought one. I'll show you it later. And it's, it is quite useful. But as I say, you don't really need the pencil to get access to all the features uh, within paper. Uh, let's go in and open uh, an ideas notebook. We get these pages. I can flick through. One thing to notice, you'll notice it's sort of like a concertina effect. You can now publish your notebooks uh, in actual paper form. Uh, there is a, an option in here to export your notebooks to Moleskin and have them print a book. And it's produced in sort of like a concertina type uh, presentation. But let's go in and open a page up and we get the tool set at the bottom. Now, there are lots of tips that you'll get. I'm going to close these. Um, you can review the tips as you go through, but I'll take you through everything sort of in one fell swoop. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 